And in the previous section, in the indexing thing, it was quite straightforward to extract a vector from a matrix by selecting all values of a certain row or all values of a certain column. Okay. Now let's say instead if we actually wanted to combine uh, two vectors into, into creating a matrix, um, we can do that. So let me do the same thing again. We'll call this magic four again. Okay, and again we'll select two vectors. Okay, so we're going to go for uh, the third column here. Okay, um, sorry, I need to put the C in. Okay, and we're going to go for let's go for the second column. Okay, so uh, there we go. two. Okay, again, I've got the C right. Okay, so we've got our two vectors M and N. Okay. Now, if we wanted to create a new vector, or sorry, a new matrix containing both n and n in individual columns, we can actually write m and n, okay, and that will create a new uh, matrix containing those values. So, by placing the two vectors with a set of square brackets, you obtain a new matrix with the two vectors juxtaposed. A couple of notes, though, to achieve this, the vector lengths must be the same. Here, they're both four, okay. And you can use it, and you can use a comma to separate the vectors if you want. Um, so M P, you could actually write Q equals M N, and it would understand that that's two individual vectors. Now we've got another. Um, the same can happen if you've got two matrices. So I'm going to go D equals magic, magic three. So we get a three by three magic square. Okay, E. That's going to multiply each value, so I use the dot command, and then we're going to multiply each value by two. Okay, so we've got another matrix now of E. Okay, there's E. Okay, and if we wanted to create a new vector F or a new matrix F with two with D and E inside, we can actually write D E, and obviously that will create now a um, six column or three three row six column vector. Okay, or matrix three by six um, matrix. You can see that the last three columns are two times the first three columns, a matrix produced using the magic, um, magic uh, function. Before moving on, it's worth considering a few examples of obtaining data and indexing to help solidify your understanding. And so that's going to we're going to define four um, matrices of random numbers. So I'm going to clear and clear the screen. Okay, we're going to go A equals rand. Okay, which is the random number generator. We're going to go two rows and three columns. Okay, so there's A, B. We're going to go for the same thing minus rand, and we're going to go two three. Okay, I'm going to use some semicolons here. We've got C. Uh, we're going to go rand three four, and D equals minus rand three four. Okay. So we've got those uh, uh, those, those uh, variables a, b, c, and d. Okay, and we're going to try out um, a few lines to combine them in different ways to make sure we understand what's going on. So if we go a, b, okay, you can see that we're going to end up with a uh, a six um, by well a two by six um, matrix. Okay. Now if we did um, let's go for a, b. C now remember C is a different size matrix, so we need to extract certain values. Let's go for two to three rows, okay, and all columns, um, which should work. So if we do that, notice we and now get a ten by, uh, sorry, two by ten matrix. Now if we do um, a, whoops, a a co uh, semicolon B, we should get another matrix this time. They've stacked on top of each other, okay. And likewise, if we did A, semicolon B, semicolon A, okay, that stacks them even more on top of each other. If we've got D, there's D, D transposed, okay. Again, like I said, it flicks this around. Notice that we went from uh, three rows and four columns to four rows, four rows and three columns, okay, because it's transposed it around. And if we went, I don't know, let's go for A. B semicolon B A semicolon D prime and C prime. Let's say uh, D transpose and C transpose. Then we can end up getting a big matrix. And like I said, by reorienting C and D, they could be combined to create this uh, four matrix.